with the Ministry of Rural and Maritime Development of Fiji, uh, and he belongs to Lamitu Zone. Let us welcome him to share his testimony this morning. Praise the Lord. Tunangona <laughs> Mentor nama tani kuah, do tu, pada lista la karun do bot do nak beliau. So dengan do lak mai balas, do 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 rubi aw ni sebab bosin do tak kenal tu. Do katung aw benda nam ni cintangku. Tomasi, kau nak film mai orang wala, kau nak tafsir kau ibu kau nak nak tu. Saya kan nak bulan kau, kau bawa sih nak bulan saya meramai. So kami bawa kita tunggu, nada baru do katik beliau. Bawa nata balik non rubi susu, non rubi tumbir non gumbula. Awak singkat tu tunggu na. Sambil bangkal kiri remen dura nama tani nama tani kuah, bawa nata balik nak keluar nama tani kuah. Nak balik, nak mata ni kuat langgap. Nak tahu balik, nak kuat tahu balik. Kita baru kita kembali balik, nak mata ni kuat. Ambil ni rendini, kita nak ngoni. Nak balik, nak beli tumbiri, nak beli nak support kat sini lawak lawak sanggo. Nak tahu balik, nak ambil lagi rua. Orang nak tulangkas, tambah kau tulang standu. Nono beli tumbiri, tumbiri beli bukit rumah ini lawak lawak sanggo. Kali bapak nak nak keluar nak mata ni kuat. Bikin dapat satu kan nak mata ni kuat. Haliya, kita lawi zaki. Kita minat muka, malu ambil minat muka. Malam bulan mai bunuku, do matu wan mai bunuku malam bulan. Tu mau ngaya mai kambara, halu mai mode malam bulan. Mena wali mena matani kuah, nuni cini tu mena matani kuah. Mai jur tu ngon dongon nama muka. Mai tu ngan abin ngan ni kelu ke nunggu bulan matani kuah. Kali bawa bina bawa kelu nama matani kuah. Nunggu matani kuah nunggu tengah tu ngan itu ngan alam matani kuah. Nabi baru utak ini kelu. Nabi baru utak ini kelu. Nagu wasir ruat ke nunggu tu ngan alam matani kuah. Matai ke nasi kelu ul. Ke nunggu kelu nabi baru tu ngan kelu nunggu bulan. Main dua rau ke nama tani kuah. Mika di masa tu nama tani kuah boleh tal tala. Mereka kira nama tal tala nama tani kuah. Nak kalau tuan doa. Wibor tu ke nunggu bulan main dua rau ke nama tani kuah. Wibor tu ni kalau ke nunggu bulan boleh tal tala. Wengon ke dia sesuatu nunggu satu tingkat dia disebut kalima. Wengon ke dia masuk ke nunggu dua tu nunggu dua mazaban nunggu masuk kan. Turaga ni wibor tu ni salam muria. Nanti dia mana ibuasa murung ada. Murung tu ke nunggu bulan. Wengon ke dia masuk ke nunggu tukan tiga. Ya tukan. Amat cuma nunggu bulan. Dia butuh kan bosok. Bulan bosok kau dengan kerabat yang mai. Dino sa sulim bula, ento na ka u u talatatigo, talatatigo, sulim bula lo tulebu, lago tigo mentos toso, kontakto na matasere may mo may motusa, lago tigo may na lo tu, lutin sa deskul may motusa, lago tigo may ento na ka elitigo, yung bulan bosok lago matatigo, lago tigo na ngunay ang guana, lago tigo na na lasitumba, lago tigo libre na kada lao na kabo tigo ngun bula, sinikla di baro tigo na kado na ngunang ko, mo may endure na matagan ni kuwa, sa gay, unon talaga talaga sa dutug na talaga balibu. Mungkin orang orang kita, yang harus ni tutup buat direkta, buat ikilah, kalau ngah ikilah ya. Sangat tiga bumi sibuk lagi nak kalau nama tani kuah, nunggul tarik nama tani kuah, na bi sibuk lagi nak kalau nama tani kuah. Mana rontol tinggal kalau ngah, kau tiup mana kalau nama tani kuah, kau tu lebih nunggul agak-agak, kau tu lebih nama motor kat nak kaki dek, kau tu lebih aw. Sangat tiga bumi tiga tiga nak kalau nama tani kuah, main dura ok nama tani kuah. Lagu main 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 dah dah tu dah nak kampanye rontol tinggal dia, kampanye dia dah civil works. Sandu tu lebih banyak kerja kerana kampanye lingkau kem tu lebih banyak kerja tu nak nangun salah. Tapi tu menosuri kem lima tu menosuri. Tapi tu kerja tu traffic. Lima tu nampungi ni menosuri dua kerja tu nampungi. Sandu singa. Elah aku tu mana tahu ya? Ati kau mesti tahu nak kalau. Nabi bunuh ayah sama yang bintu sar nabi bunuh. Mau mesti kerja tu kena. Mau dengan salah. Lagu itu tarapal satu mi pasifika. Benda sangat tu nunggu bola. Tiri tiri tu nak kalau. Singkat tu kau nabi tiri tiri nak kalau kena nunggu bola. Tu bapak nak balik benda bunuh na. Sama yang lagu nasun solo tu kan tu nabi bunuh tu kan tu kan kasih lebu. Ibu nak aku, tu tu lagu mula mula aku nak beli ra, eh? Tapi pada beli kos, nol tak aku nak nama tani ku, nak nak tim tu nak nol tu nama tani ku, nak nampak aku kena bagi mengko, kos di bawah ni. For you to listen to kos di bawah ni, you need to go deeper. Nama tani ku, apa isi berita nak kalau kena gumpula? Di sini saya nak bunuh ya, so kita lah, okay ku aku. Nama tani ku, untuk untuk nama tani ku, apa bina tu bina kalau nabi kaki depan tu nak gumpula? Isi berita nak gumpula nama tani kalau nak nak kalau kena gumpula. Tos itu mana lagu lagu? Nampak ke nampak sah wajib. Melayan kalau nak kutumbu tumbu, rontol cincang biar melayan kalau kita maram di cincang aku, kalau rontol vital no basing aku ni. Kau tu lima nak kalau ya. Tiga puluh enam bulan nampak yang go lima tu sebab tak cukup. Nanti di sini matanya kau lima puluh lima yang kau lihat. Tiga puluh enam bulan sah reda. Nada tengah tengah orang cina, nada tu orang cini. Kalau sini baru tak nak kau dua puluh tahun tak meninggal ni. 
sin rano tuai ni buli. Agar tiga buah metir tiga nak nak kalau nama tani kuat. Tosu cuma ni lagu lagu gua, ibu diri tiga nak korupi. Sangat nak kalau me 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 kota leh benda lo kuku untuk tiga bela. Me kota leh benda lo dua orang dunia buka yau nama tani kuat. Bapak nak tahu nak kalau nanti kena. Sangat tiga buah megai. Rongol nak buat nama negara sila benda mai TV nama tani kuat. Bapak nak mai live tu nama tani kuat. Sikiran main dua ratus nama tani kuat. Motu kunangan nabi nak ni kalau nama tani kuat. Sama itu dengan kalau kita kawan kita kasih lebu, get out of there, comfort zone. Kau yang duduk nama tani kuah, mungkin tinggi tengah tiku. Nah, jika ibu duduk dengan kalau nama tani kuah, main duduk rakin. Nama tani kuah, tosu mana lagu lagu nunggu? Main tu dalam lain miru nama tani kuah, nazo dalam miru. Kau nunggu lain miru nama nunggu. Kau sih nak tambah sahaja satu ni main dengan monit si satu ni main kita. Lain miru nunggu tu serangan puak kategori. Ok, abis lain miru, abis nak apa dia butuh rangan? Patang gua serangan nak abis nak tiku. Mereka buat diri dengan kalau nama tani kuah, kerana kalau ni, lain miru mereka kata mereka 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 ada pun nak kos di bawah ni, mereka buat mereka untuk mereka. The deep of the valley goes, the higher you go. Kos di bawah ni nama tani kuah. Yang nama tani itu ni nama tani kuah. Bini beri diri dengan nama tani kuah. Bunuh itu cikgu nama tani kuah. Cikgu bawa dia untuk dia bawa tu nama tu bawa le. Dia bawa tu nama pulau nama tani kuah. Cikgu bawa dia untuk dia kartu mai mai di dia nak. Bicara kerja dengan dia dengan pulau itu stabil juga kalau cikgu bawa dia, cikgu bawa dia, cikgu bawa dia. Nak kalau orang orang tu nama semua tani kuah. Awal ni mana nak jodoh tu kekina? Saya awal ni bulu bakal orang kawasan apa cikgu? Cukup kadang tu kan kasih lebu nama tani kuah. Kebaga apa lah cikgu kembali? Tuh tu cikgu nak nama mitos tu cikgu. Kebaga aku ikon dia cikgu aku bawa aku kaki dia bawa kaya normal cikgu kembali. Di kaya betul nama Allah kau batik. Nama tani kuah bawa bawa bina awal lebu ni bina kau kulit tu bina bina bulan kasih lebu. Kau kau angin bulan tinggi tumba. Tuh tu bina ni kasih lebu tu bina mana koro kau kau na rudi kena wasen dua. Nurul aku mana nama nama mai kena amilik. Rongke sini rada rau, na 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 opedi dia mau berotiu kena. Rongke lagi kita tumpah, kita mau api. Ada apa rongke stab? Abah bawa dia tengok bikin tu. Cenis tengok tu nama tani kuah. Cikgu bawa dia ngun, cikgu bawa dua. Nih terus sosong go. Ni lagu lagu injin, ni lagu lagu. Kalau kalau nak tukar ni lagu tani kuah, na bi baru tengok ni kalau ni sekelu lagu. Kau baru tengok tiga, na bunuh sama dia. Ada tak kita sama dia siang nada tak? Nama tani kuah. Siang nak kacang satu ngan na na rancin ngan nada tak tiga. Tu na tu na tu na kan tu batu nak cikgu na global direct nama tani kuah. Dia ada crazy feel. Kecil ni kalau ni singa, untuk ambil cina aku faham sah, bukan tercung kasih lebu. Untuk membawa rau juga, boleh nak kaka nak kaka nak membawa rau nak lockdown sah baru tinggal mai. So kita orang nak keluar, turun nak keluar, situ nak kaitu biao. Orang jinin nama tak kasih lebu, lima sembilan dolar. Thomas ini boleh make nang go go go, baru cik entuh nama dah angkut lockdown sah baru tinggal mai. Kita turun keluar, lima sembilan dolar tunggu biao. Tapi mau berdiri okey na. Saya waktu main na, waktu tu nak nak aku faham, langsung merah. Oh sah pelatun gulis nak telefon, kalau ngai kila ya, nak kalau ngai kila ya. Taman Lis Balap kita tu nak kau rujuk nak kau bawa ke Fika, Weber Runan Rawa dah tanam tola. Lakon main na Food City, main Durikin salah kau nak trolley, lakon nak trolley. Tahu kau ni main singkla na Runan Rawa siang lima sahul kan tola cukup biao. Tahu kau main na trolley, balai serah salah kau main na main trolley. Sangkir mungan ni kau main pasi bigam. Tahu main suah way tumba. Kau tu, oh, apa tu boleh singgo? Kau kau way tumba. Sambil tu na trolley kau kira main warai kau way tumba. Nak kalau ngan kira tu kan? Singkla tu ngan ni kau lima sahul kan tola. Rosak kiri memang aku beli cini, nak kasih lihat memang orang yang kucing terlalu bantuan. Lima enam ratus dolar sila beli aku ya. Oh boleh boleh kini apa nak kat ini aku tiba lekar orang cini. Kau tu memang bingo. Nak kalau tuan tuan ngah, tu kat cikgu orang cini kasih lihat nama tani kuah. Dia apa crazy feel. Bukan bodoh nak kalau, orang cini terus tabu cungko. Iko bukan bodoh cungko nak kalau nama tani kuah. Sabar mai lockdown, sa kau boru boru sa songo songo, kau bici sa siang nak tak nak. Sini bawa tanpa bantu nak kalau ni siang ni boleh pergi. Sangkiri mana Minister of Rural and Maritime Development? Bagus tu. Awak sudah setuju sama tani kuah? Mau mesti kau dah kata. Nak kalau ngah rendah wate. Nama tani kuah tu rendah untuk masalah tu rendah kalau. Awak sudah lihat tu kau ni kau ni cikgu. Kau bukan ambil itu untuk kunci nau. Kau berterima kasih nak kalau ya. Kalau ni sini perlu print. Mereka tulis sini ada kena lockdown. Tahu masih lagi di sana tu perlu lockdown online. Alih macam mana biar mana biar kau. Nak kaya rendah berterima kasih nak kalau sah. Songo songo bura bura sah. Songo songo nak kaki ni. Nak kalau tuan tuan, nak sendu nak kandian rendi nak kita luki awak sendu awak. Nama tani kuah. Nothing is impossible with a God that we serve. Nama tani kuah. We boleh kentut nama tani kuah. Sedap nak rendi, sedap aku kau bura bura nama tani kuah. Iko bandi tak tuan nama boleh ninggal rabu nak kalu. Nak kalu ngoi bi baru taki. Kaki nabo sen timo di wasi bat kini awal lu. Oh, baga aku sangat balik lenga. Ia nak lotu, nak lotu. Saya ngan nama bulong ko. Baik kurtek nama bulong ko. Kau usi nama bulong samper amai. Nama kau nama tani kuah. Kuah bahkan tu ni tosu, kunyah lila nama tani kuah. Garabat cuma kalau libungo. Sedaba kau rupa nanti entah nak lakukan lakukan rumah mai. Ikan garabat cuma. Tiga bahkan dua, tiga bahkan dua nama tani kuah. Garabat atau 
So wonderful to be here, so wonderful to be with you, so wonderful to share the word of God. And it's a pleasure, it's a blessing to be here this morning to talk about the goodness of God. Sari katale, sari kavinaka. Menda duringa, menda menda vital no tega tumanda ngana kani kalu. Hallelujah. Malam bulongori, nam bulongo. Enda duna si ngana zawa. Aku boleh tahu itu mai tabua, pernah boleh puna parong mai tabua. Bagi muni kita sahaja na turang na marama pun boleh bo o tabua. Bagi si puna tiku tiku ni turang na tui tabua mai tabu boleh bo. Pernah boleh puna si na itu mai na makete tahu ni o tabua ene si na noa. Sabo kami ni bilang taki non dalu boleh bo solimbula ene si na noa. Sehingga ni mulai tapi mai nanti. Ena koroi volu pak, ena he kami ni singa berombuka. Okelah ni lelai weekenda, le solimbula, ena seret dah buat nak kelu, ena singa kaya. Gaya buka wasibi, mai lo toka nam bongi, narara pak, sandu nak kana lebu ni zorbo, kena wana lebu. Buka wasibi nak zorbo, dah sindo rezat tu balik lebu ya. Zorbo mermai tu ena alter call. Haleluya. Au kurumbu ikangalo. Na kairu ni zakaba na kalu. Ena ndina nga. Nino na bosa. So I take this time to thank all the people that you were tuning yesterday through Facebook and also around Tawa and around Lautoka. I take this time to say thank you. Not forgetting those that are tuning in today. I'm looking forward to share the word of God. Remember, at 10.30, God of our nation program, we will have a renewing of vows or those that need holy matrimony. It will be a holy matrimony vows with a difference. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward that God will speak to you at 10.30 program. So when we finish at 9.00, Make sure that we meet again at 10.30. And today I will talk on a subject that uh, we need to, to raise our level of praising. For New Methodist Christian Fellowship, a few weeks now I've been talking on the power of praise. It will be on the screen and uh, I believe... That you will see more into praising. Because when we talk about praising, we just talk about singing. Most of the time we talk about singing. That's why sometimes we will not accept when we use instrument in church activities, especially in worship. I don't know why, but... When the first Pentecostal came over to Fiji, people called them Lotungirigiri. Why? They don't accept that the guitar, the ukulele, or any instrument to be used in church gathering. So it is a name given to Pentecostal, Lotungirigiri, as judgmental. You that are watching today, even myself, I remember. When I was in the mainline church, I called 
the Pentecostal, especially the Assemblies of God, Lotungirigiri or Lotutangitangi. That is judgmental name. Hallelujah. How can you compare Assembly of God and Lotungirigiri? It's not a right translation. Assembly of God, Waka Waka Songoni Bakalo, say Waka Songoni Nikalo. What Lotungirigiri got to do with the Assembly of God because of our judgmental? Hallelujah. We only judge because lack of knowledge. And that judge brings curses into our life. So we need to know the power in praising. Just like when we serve our chief. For example, even in my island in Namukailau. Hallelujah. I'm really happy uh, to witness the testimony as I sat here in the studio of uh, Pastor Tomasi Wakatawapolau. Hallelujah. Uh, one led from the Mukailau. Hallelujah. To come and testify in this platform. Hallelujah. It's a joy. Why? Because I, I preach and I go to other parts of Fiji, the 14 provinces. But it's a joy when I see somebody from my island, the people that I know, to come and stand in this platform and talk about the same song and sing the same music. Hallelujah. It's a joy. And uh, I was really blessed this morning. And I know the New Methodist Christian Fellowship in the Mukelau, you will be with me in enjoying the fast uh, moving of uh, Pastor Tomasi Wakatawa Pulau that uh, he testified today. Okay. Let us move into our Bible study, the power in the word. The power in the word and our topic today, the power of praising. Praising. When we talk about praising, we're just talking about singing. That's all. But when we translate praise into Fijian, we're talking about Vaka Vinaka. Now, when we talk about Vaka Vinaka, that becomes broad into our thinking. Because we can take ourselves to the rugby field or to athletics, to a Coca-Cola game of our children. And when we see people in the stadium, especially the spectators, then you'll start to go deeper into praising. When we talk about praising in the church, we're just limited to singing. Hallelujah. We never think of clapping. We never think of jumping. We never think of joyful act. Because I normally share that praising is the outward expression or the physical expression of your body because of the inward joy. Hallelujah. So praising is an act of worshiping God. We, we praise because we just want to say to God, thank you. Glory to you. Hallelujah. And we cannot say hallelujah, hallelujah, and glory all the time. No. Because something happened in our inner person, there's a joy. You are released from being a prisoner. When you are born again, you will know what I'm talking about. Then you will not talk about the unspeakable joy because you haven't surrendered your life to Jesus Christ. Okay. Let us go to National Stadium. And Fiji is playing against All Blacks. Well, while the All Blacks are taking to score a try, then intercept done by a Fijian winger. And from try line to try line, about 95 meters or 100 meters dash between the posts. Now, what will happen in the stadium of Suba? What will happen from the embankment? What will happen for those that are watching live on television? What will happen for those that are listening to the radio? Hallelujah. Now, I believe you are still with me. What will happen in the stadium to our team, our national team, a tie between the post against all blacks, the mighty all blacks? Whatever you're imagining right now, some people will punch here. 
uh, please don't throw away your radio. Some people can kick the radio. Hallelujah. That is a physical expression of the inward joy. Now, bring that stadium to serving God. That somebody heals a sick child. Somebody restore your family. Your husband went away with another woman. Now, he has returned. Your wife ran away to the parents. Now, he has returned. Hallelujah. What will happen to you? Because something happened. Or promotion. Or maybe you receive a visa to go overseas. Or your boy just received a confirmation to join the British Army. The joy that you have need to be in line with the joy that you do to God in praise and worship. Hallelujah. When we go to the, to the teaching on the screen, hallelujah, it will, it will show you, it will tell you that there is a power in praising. Hallelujah. The expression of approval, of joy, because of something, or maybe because of somebody. So when Jesus saved my life, every time I will worship him, I couldn't care less what the people say. I will run, I will dance, I'll make a fool of myself. I don't care. It's not in my it's not in my worry, at least, what the people will say, because God saved my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's so many negatives. A negative comments when people praise their God. What about when you are in your village and you have your tarlala? What about when the sea sea or and the fakawela and the fetongi goes on? Nobody have a negative comment. They just ex expressing their joy. So they make fool of themselves in the front for people. That's why David said to the wife, when the wife was watching, and the wife feel ashamed of the king, making fool of himself in the street of Jerusalem, dancing because of the victory in the battlefield. David said, I'm not doing it to you. I'm not doing it to anyone. Only God saved me from the battlefield. So why I should be ashamed when God gave me victory? So praising brings power. Hallelujah. See, God inhabits the praising of his people. What does that mean? It means that God comes down. God is in the midst of people that are praising Him. See, when we listen to the Bible study like, like now, God is not serving, uh, you are not serving God. God is serving you through me, through my voice, through my, my mind. When I prepare the message to bring to you into the, a silver plateau, into your living room, into your office, that is God serving you. Now, how can you serve God? By singing, by giving, by, by laughing, by clapping, by shouting. You are serving God. And that's why we serve God before God serves us with Bible study or His Word. And I hope that we are clear this wonderful morning. Now, how we should praise God? We will go to that. How we should praise God? Hallelujah. We praise God in many ways. The expression that I said to us in the stadium, have that picture in your mind. In Psalm 47, verse 1. Number one, we serve God by clapping our hand. Hallelujah. We'll ask uh, Tal Tal Ron to read the Fijian translation. Psalm 47, verse 1. Oi kemundo kedengana tamata ndo zombo kaila wana kalu ena kai kaila ni marau. Hallelujah. Oh, clap your hands, all people. Shout to the Lord with voice of joy. How can you praise God? Clapping of hands. Hallelujah. We do the clapping of hands when somebody receives trophy. <laughs> we do clapping of hands somebody wins the race. We do clapping of hands when somebody scores the try. Hallelujah. Why can't we clap our hand when we serve God? The Bible says, this is not from my, from my book. Remember, 
when I was in the church too, hallelujah, we were not clapping our hands because nobody taught us to clap our hands. But this morning I'm teaching the viewers, not only New Methodist Christian Fellowship, the viewers, the Christian, the non-Christian, that when you clap your hand, it's supposed to be done to God. Okay, when we clap our hand according to the English translation, but we can also thumbo, or sow, or thumbo, or sow. Hallelujah. But in the English translation, just say, clap your hand. So any sound that comes between the clapping of hands, whether thumbo or sow, it doesn't really matter. What matters? The sound to come up, the physical expression of my inward joy. And I put my hands together. Hallelujah. I put my hands together to make a voice, to make a sound. Because I'm enjoying something or someone. Hallelujah. We are so limited and very tunnel reason. And that's why we need the Bible study. Hallelujah. And this morning, number one, hallelujah. Clap your hands, all you people. If you are in that category people, hallelujah, then clap your hand. Don't clap your hand if you are not in the category of people. If you are not a mankind, don't clap your hand. Hallelujah. But if you are in the category of people, all people, or mankind, or human being, then clapping of hands is supposed to be done to the Lord. Number two, hallelujah. Singing, oh, we praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says, let us go to Psalm 147, verse 1. Hallelujah. Singing, this one I will, I will not touch in depth because we, everybody knows singing. When we sing, that means somebody is enjoying his life. Whether uh, you sing a serekamakamba, or Polotu, or, or, or even the worldly song. When you sing song, that means you are enjoying something. You are enjoying the lyrics of a song. Hallelujah. But be careful, because the ly lyrics of the song can jump onto you. Can you read to us Psalm 147, verse 1? Do ia na baga bina bina ka vechoba. Nisa ka bina ka me sereta ka na baga bina bina ka. Wana nonda klo. Nisa ka kami kamida. Kasa kili kili na baga bina bina ka. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, one time there is a slandering on New Methodist. Uh, what church is that? The church praise the Lord. But the Bible is full of praise the Lord. Amen. So when you are very judgmental, Judgmental about the praise the Lord that shows how poor you are in knowing your Bible. Hallelujah. Nearly every psalm will start with praise the Lord. And that's why the Lord spoke to me so many years ago. Before you say malo ambula, ambula sia, ambula re, you say praise the Lord to the one that gives you the breath of life. Hallelujah. Before you say mbula binaka, before you say Sayandra, before you say Yo, Malwambulai, before you say Mulare or Mulasia, before that, we must praise the Lord. Mepakarota in a kalo. Sangai nimbulabinaka. Melabet in a kalo, nimbulabinaka. Mevever in a kalo, nimbulabinaka. Hallelujah. Because we don't know our Bible, as I said before. Lack of knowledge causes a lot of judgmental spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And as we go through this teaching today, the power of praising, then you realize how little, how thin, how knowing the God that we serve. David said to his son Solomon, Solomon, I command you to know the God of your father. I command you. You must know the God of your father. Worship him, undivided heart and willing mind. Can I have a marotak? Hallelujah. Woo. So singing, the Bible says, praise the Lord, for it's good to sing in praise. Praise to our God, for it's pleasant, and praise is becoming. 
There are so many Bible verses on the screen. Hallelujah. So, so you can clap your hand. And number two, you can sing. Number three, we'll go to instrument. Hallelujah. I'm sorry to say that we don't welcome instrument in our worshiping God. Hallelujah. In Psalm 150, verse 3, 4, and 5. Hallelujah. Psalm 150, verse 3, 4, and 5. Tal Tal Gazeron. Can you read to us the Fijian translation? Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. There you are, my friend. We need instrument to praise God. If we have a good voice, Hallelujah. That's okay. You can just sing. But if you have instrument, why not? We use instrument to enhance our praising God. And don't dare speak against church that use instrument. I remember I was invited to VTFM so many years ago on the Wakarimba Malamala program. And because of the instrument that we use in the church, so Malakai Vesam Sama, Thalek, Malakai Vesam Sama, Call me and said, Tata, can you come and have a Wakarimba Malamala? There's a lot of negatives on instrument. I said, okay, I will come. Hallelujah. Call after call after call. Why we should use keyboard, uh, the bass guitar, the drum. Hallelujah. It's like in the nightclub. Hallelujah. Remember, the devil did not create anything. Every instrument and everything created by God. Even the sound, the music created by God. Hallelujah. Then one caller, this was a particular caller, call all the way from Lautoka. Taltala, hallelujah. E vole tu rivolta ambu l'ambito di Bacatangi, na Timberelli, na Api. E come tu sapete che ti go, na keyboard, na drum, na guitar le levo, na speaker le levo. Oi, oi, pinaka, pinaka. E non due talanga na taru, na taru nke monikina. I'll ask you another question. To answer your question. You want to go from Suba to Lodoka. Will you walk or you will ride on a horseback? And he said, how stupid is that question? I said, why? Because we have the taxi, we have the, the van, we have the bus. I said, exactly. How can I use the timbrel and the harp when I have the keyboard, when I have the organ, when I have the bass guitar? Hallelujah. Because we are so tunnel vision, we will create every thought just to against that something new. We will, it's not easy to accept new things into our life. So when the new melodies came, it was not really accepted in Fiji. New melodies. When you have something, new melodies, that means something is old melodies. That's the reason. Hallelujah. But we come with a dynamic to look after the, the young people, the young generation. I'm not concerned about building a church. Because I saw churches in Auckland, in Wellington, in London, in Wales. I saw churches, big, big churches, built with millions of pounds, are empty today. Why? Because they focus on the material. They focus on, 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 on the church building. They are not concerned on the temple of God. We're supposed to be concentrated on the temple of God, which is human being, rather than the building. Hallelujah. That's a sign of security to the Taltal. The Taltal that built a lot of churches, that is a sign of security. That is security. It's office. It's known for that. Hallelujah. But we, every one of us will... ...finish from here and go. Let the children decide where to worship. Maybe they can worship under the tree. They can worship on the beach. They can worship in the hall. They can worship in the stadium. Who knows? Nobody knows. Now we are worshiping on the television. Hallelujah. Thousands and thousands of people on television and on Wallace platform. And those are worshiping on FB. Three platforms are on this morning. Television, Wallace platform, and also FB. 
Hallelujah. More than the people that they listen in the church building. So we need to clear our mind. We need to be ready to the change when the Holy Spirit is speaking to us. Hallelujah. So instrument. The Bible says, Praise Him with trumpet sound. Praise Him with harp and lyre. Praise Him with timbrel and dancing. Woo, hallelujah. Praise Him with a sting instrument and pipe. Praise Him with loud cymbal. Praise Him with resounding. Hallelujah. Oh, resounding cymbal. Yana, cymbali rongole. Sati mo nga na cymbali. Kwe tamasa. Sangeti ko kwe tamasa ki kwe. Baka e fakos ko sa pendu. And that's why when we have the spirit of this world, we don't like the music that prays God. Hallelujah. Nitha ka tuna singin ringe sin indu yung complain. Nitha ka tuna singin ringe sin indu yung girita na uvisa. Nisa praise ta gina na kalaw. We tartarame na lori uvisa. Meda ba? Me buso buira na voli. Taura tali medro sa ragana tangi toa. Sin do ingrita no visa. You see? You see the, the limit in our knowledge and our understanding? Hallelujah. Okay, let us move on. Hallelujah. Oh. The Bible says, people shout. So, number one, you can clap. Number two, you can sing. And number three, you can shout. Hallelujah. In Psalm 47, 1 and 2. Hallelujah. Uh, I believe it's that number four is dancing. Eh? Okay, let us go to number four, dancing. In Psalm 149, verse 3. Hallelujah. And Psalm 154. Uh, Psalm 149, verse 3. Psalm 149, verse 3. Psalm 149, verse 3. Psalm 149, In English, as, as you can see on the screen, let them praise his name with dancing. Let them sing to him in timbrel and lyre. Why they eliminate dancing there? This is my thinking. Because timbrel, when you, when you shake the timbrel, it's supposed to be with dancing. When you see the Jewish people, whenever they dance with timbrel, hallelujah, whenever they play the timbrel, they play while dancing. You don't just sound the timbrel, but just standing still. You sound the timbrel. Most of the time, you are going through with dancing. But the Bible says, let him praise his name with dancing. Hallelujah. With dancing. What does that mean? Okay. While I'm on the dancing, when we say dancing, we translate to vision, we translate as the sound. Dance, danisi. Dance, danisi. Dance, danisi. For Fijian or Itokei, when we hear Danisi, we thinking of a nightclub or Tarlala. Hallelujah. Woo. But the real translation of dance is Meke. And when we think of Meke, it will be easy for us to understand because that's our tradition. We always do Meke when the, our chief arrive or somebody very important arrive. We don't have a, a dance in the rara every night or every week or every month. Only when a chief arrives or a very important person, VIP, then we dance or we make it. So when we translate dance to make it, our mind is clear to understand. It's a thanksgiving. We are giving thanks to those in authority. Hallelujah. But when we translate because of the name, dance, danisi, then your mind, you that are watching, that you come uh, slander, you point finger to those that are dancing to their God. Or they are doing it to the world. They are doing it to the, to Peali. They are doing it to whoever. Because that's exactly what's in your mind. But for those that have been saved, hallelujah, for those that are born again, for those that are full of joy, hallelujah, they do it for their God. My friend, I want to share this morning, hallelujah, that the things that happen to me when I dance, 
I'm not dancing because of my position. I'm not dancing because I'm leading the ministry. No. I'm dancing because what God has done in my life, to my children, in my marriage, in my family. I couldn't care less what the world will say. When I praise my God in public, in church, or privately. Hallelujah. I dance to Him because He is the one that saved my life. Not the church, not the people, and even not anyone. And that's why David said, I'm not doing to you. I'm not doing to anybody. I'm doing to the God that was with me in the battlefield. I kill a bear, I kill a lion, I kill a giant because of the God that I serve. And why should people comment and slander me when I dance to my God? Hallelujah. Exactly what I'm sharing this wonderful morning. When you dance, it's a sign of freedom. It's a sign of power. I always share to the church, the higher the praising, the higher the dancing, the higher the clapping and the sound. Hallelujah. The deeper the worship. And when the deeper the worship, the thicker the anointing. When the anointing is thick, then the greater the revelation. Hallelujah. Now let us move on. Shouting. Hallelujah. Shout to the Lord. Okay, in Psalm 47, 1 and 2. Hallelujah. Tal tal ngasi. Can you read in Fijian? Oi ke mundo ke denga na tomata, do zombo. Kaila bua na kalo e na kai kaila ni marau. Ni sa rerwa ki kotsiova, ko ko sa vever sara, na tui levu ke vurubura to go. We shout because of the great king. Hallelujah. When they enter Jerusalem, hallelujah. They are shouting. They are talking, laughing in top of their voice. And the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, the religious people, hey, Jesus, tell your people, tell your followers to lower their voice. It's disturbing. <laughs> It's disturbing our worship. Sometimes Pentecostal are branded as Lotubaka Sosa. That means you have the religious spirit. Hallelujah. You are not disturbed by the shouting in the stadium. You are not disturbed by the music, Sere. Uh, 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 singing ringy from the radio in your house, you are not disturbed by that because you're in the same spirit. Sereni Kaboro, Nomo, because you are in that same spirit, you are not disturbed. You are disturbed by praising and shouting and clapping. Why? Different spirit. When people praise, the devil runs away. That's why people complain of the sound coming from churches. Churches that are full of praise, they receive a lot of complaint. Why? Because the world does not want the church that prays because the power of God can come down. And when the power of God comes down, there is healing, there is restoration, casting out of demons. Five things that Dr. Reverend Kim, the president of the Methodist Church in Korea in 1996, he said on his departing message in the VIP lounge in Nandi Airport. Listen to this. Five things that Reverend Dr. Kim from Methodist Church, the president of Methodist Church in South Korea. He said, his departing message to those that present, including me. He said, the church must tithe. Number two, I don't like the spirit in the muddy water. The muddy water has a spirit. Number three, use the instrument in your praising. Number four, use young people in dancing and skit and drama to evangelize. Number five, those that want to share the gospel must keep the holiness of God. And he said, you do these five things, you will raise the church to the level of Pentecostal power. Hallelujah. So when we sing, when we clap our hands, when we dance, when we shout, we are claiming the authority of God to rule over. Me adonalomamuni vurvura. See, Lucifer was a choir master. He was the praise and worship leader in heaven. So everything that he's doing in the nightclub, in the tarlala, in the hall, in the village, that's what he copy. He can't create anything, including music, including instrument. My friend that you are, you are here this morning. I believe that you are sinking in. You are receiving a lot of revelation this morning that will change the way that you worship and you praise your God. 
any church that have higher praise in praising their God, I tell you, they will be very powerful, affecting people's life. Hallelujah. A lot of people will throw away their cigarettes. A lot of people will throw away their cover bowl. Cover bowl. I'm talking about cover bowl. I'm not promoting any cover bowl because that is a, it's a demonic activities that our forefather used to gain access into the Nakawanra, to gain access to Dengue in Dakwanga. Hallelujah. And they use kava. What else they use? Only kava. They don't. They, they never use hot stuff. They never use uh, bamboo, orange juice. They never use any other drink. They use kava. When you are drinking kava, my friend, I tell you, you are encouraging, you are enhancing the work of the spirit. That's why we have a, a lot of indiscipline. Who is breaking the rules, the curfew today? Who? Who? Kava drinkers. They want to wash down the people that are drunk. I'll be surprised that most it okay are breaking. The people that go to church. The people that preach from the pulpit. It'll be, it'll be nice to get the, the reports from the police. And you compare the race in race wise. Who are the ones that breaking the rules of the curfew. I wouldn't be surprised. Most of us are Fijian. Or it's okay. I spoke with one, one civil servant. He said, one Tal Talangasi with the, the wife, with the children. Three o'clock, they were parked in the, one of the hill in, in Nanronga at three o'clock in the morning. That means they break the, the curfew from 11 to 12. From 12 to 1, and 1 to 2, and 2 to 3. Four hours they broke the curfew. But we are not a good example of what we preach. We are not a good example. We are not a light of the world. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. I am the light from heaven. Come to world. Come to this world. And he ignites us. And we are supposed to continue with the life that he set. Hallelujah. And I want to challenge our life. As I said before, it will be nice to have a record from the police force. And see, hallelujah. What race are the one that breaking the rules of curfew? It wouldn't be surprised if us it okay, so-called Christian. Why? Because we are very tunnel vision. We are just worshiping the church. We are just full of religiosity. We are just into religion, not in relationship with God. And that's why God allow this television station to bring to you the word of the hour. 8 to 9 every morning, from Sunday to Sunday, from Monday to Monday, from Tuesday to Tuesday. Every morning, power in the word. So you know more into the spiritual realm and less of the physical realm. Oh, hallelujah. Shout and clap your hand, all you people. And the Bible says, shout with a shout of joy. Do kaila and kai kaila ni maro. Say the way kaila ni maro. Will you get the man? Oi kem do kaila na tomata. Kem do na tomata. Kaila bua na kalo and a kai kaila ni maro. Kaila bua na kalo and a kai kaila ni maro. Hallelujah. You call it kai kaila to go e rara ni gito. Ko yung gori dudu meza kachu balilo tu bua na kalo. We need a noah. Hallelujah. Na timi ni na mosu we nandonga. Eh? Kitu lako mai ngau ni sala. Lebo ratu ngau ni sala. Nonro kuila. Celebrate they have every reason because it's their provincial team. Oh, sa tunga ngay po sa ngabi on altamo. Me ba tu manda ngangori nungu labeti. Me ba tu manda ngangori nungu labeti. We are coming at about 10 o'clock, passing the the Namosi area. Hallelujah. We finish with the Serua area. We come through the Namosi area, right up to to Namboro, the village before Namboro, Punisodo. Hallelujah. Punisodo on the right. And Wayne and Doi behind us. And people are on the road shouting. Hallelujah. It's good because they are, it's their provincial team. But the Holy Spirit said, if only they praise me like that, then my power, my anointing, <laughs> will come into church activities. Hallelujah. Because we are just so full of religiosity or spirit of religion. That's why we cannot see the spirit of God, which is the spirit of truth. We'll go into the last one, and I'll continue next week. Hallelujah. Jumping. Hallelujah. 
Tell them, guys, can you go to Acts chapter 3, 6 to 9? So jumping. Hallelujah. In, in Fijian translation, we can say that. Rika, Nalande. Jumping. Hallelujah. And that is somebody that is set free. In Fijian, tell them, guys, Sangai kaya kopita asiliva keno kola e sangani tuve yau e na kasa tuve yau ko sa suleveiko e na yada ichisu Kristo na kai nasirevi o tuva ke kalako sangai tora na linga na imatau a sa tumbera dake sangai vaka kau kau taki sara na evana ke na na nguru la sawa sangai rika dake koko ya ka wabutu kalako voli a sa zuru bate ke irau ke na vale ni soro. Asalako karika kabaka roko roko taka na kalu. With a leap, he stood upright and began to walk and he entered the temple with them, walking and limping, uh, leaping and praising. Walk, leaping and praising. In the church, start from the street into the church and praising God. Hallelujah. That means the ten things that I'm sharing, I'm in number six. Shouting. Clapping, he said, and praising God as he walks along. He disturbed those that are quiet in the church. He disturbed them. Hallelujah. He ran, he jumped. Hallelujah. And he shout, disturbing the people. They've been there for 40 years. And he's been asking for money for 40 years. Until that Jesus came. Why shouldn't he leap? Why shouldn't he jump? Why shouldn't he shout? See, when the Spirit of God touches you and you are set free, Nobody can stop you. Hallelujah. You are not doing the real praising because maybe you are still in bondage. Maybe you are still in religion mode. You come away from the religion mode and go into the relationship mode. Because Christianity is not religion. Christianity is relationship with your God. Nothing to do with rituals. It's your relationship. Walking with God every day of your life. I can touch another one. Number seven. Hallelujah. Number seven. The Bible says, Psalm 143, verse six. The lifting of, the lit, uh, lift, uh, number seven, the bowing. Bowing and the lifting. I will touch number seven, number eight together. Hallelujah. Psalm 95, six and seven, and also Mark 146, 143, verse six. Psalm uh, sorry, 95, 6 and 7. I'll read in English and you read in Fijian. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel, hallelujah, uh, before our maker. For he is our God and we are his people. Hallelujah. My Italga say, 95. To my lotu, kaduva sombu. To my vaka, to my tekinduru, and a mate tsova, a koe kambuli kenda. Nisa nonda kalo kokoya. Koi kenda na tamata ni nona bonua ke na sipi satumbera kokoya and a singa enda indai ke bakando sa via rongova nando mona hallelujah so bowing when we bow down that's also praising god we are lifting him high and that's why we bow down for joseph for um, for joshua for abraham for moses they really lie on their tummy on the ground that's bowing so whether you're bowing, and number eight, or lifting up your hands, or shouting, or jumping, hallelujah. It's all form of praising and worshiping God. It's a form of praising and worship. In Psalm 143, verse 6, my Talgasi. Hallelujah. So when you lift up your hands, when you bow down, and also when you cry, number nine is when you cry. And number ten, when you laugh. So all these things is in the Bible. I'm just sharing this morning to assist us. So it will limit ourselves from judging and pointing finger and slandering. Some people that they praise God. Because you sing does not mean that you laugh at somebody jumping. Because you jumping and shouting, you laugh at somebody bowing down. No. Hallelujah. It's all the form of worship. It's a form of praising. It's a form of, of serving God. We serve God through these ten things. The last two, which is laughing and also crying. That is worshiping God. That is praising God. My friend, I tell you, when we don't have the word of God with us, that's why we are very quick to point finger. This morning I'll pray with you. 
as I come to the end of power in the word. If your sister, I believe it's very good to some of people that are here. Remember, you can contact us if you want the, the teaching. If you want the teaching, you contact us. We can send to you through your email. Let us come before the Lord in prayer. Lord, I pray that you will open our eyes and our heart. That we will worship you because we have a relationship with you. Not because we belong to a church. Not because we belong to a denomination. It's just because that we are your children. We are expressing freely your goodness in our life. Just like your servant David. We thank you, Father God, for this morning. I pray over the people that are very limited in their knowledge of your word. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you, Father, for this platform, the mighty TV, that comes into their house, that comes into their office, that comes into their family this wonderful morning. We'll be very be careful to give you the glory and the honor and the praises to be yours and yours alone. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray and everyone say, Amen. Turang again, Marama, Malaga to my the benefits of your praise. Today we talk about how to praise. Next week I will talk about, hallelujah, the benefits of praising. I believe it's so enlightening and it's so powerful as we said this morning. So, from the studio here in Suba. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing in the FB. Share this like this on my TV page and share it to your friends. We say, God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday to you and your family in Jesus' name. God is in His Word. His Word is God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Whenever you believe in the Word of God, you are believing in God Himself. He is the Word. Hallelujah.